Hello, you see. February is Black History Month. Since its first commemorations nearly 100 years ago, we have dedicated this time to reflecting on the profound contributions of black Americans to our communities, our nation, and the world. This month, I'm proud to join the UC community in celebrating the black workers, scholars, artists, and activists who have propelled our university and the world forward. Throughout UC's history, black alumni, faculty, and students have been integral to our excellence, making pioneering advances in science, medicine, the humanities, the law, and other fields. Ralph J. Bunch became the first black American valedictorian at UCLA in 1927. He was also the first black American and the first person of color to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. In 1929, Annie Virginia Stevens Coker graduated from Berkeley Law and became California's first black female lawyer. Roy Overstreet, the first African American to receive a degree from UC Riverside, was a groundbreaking oceanographer, spending three decades tracking oil spills and waste in our oceans. At UC Berkeley, Barbara Christian led the way for countless others as a leading scholar of black feminist criticism and the first black woman to be granted tenure at Cal. And in the midst of the civil rights movement, UC students organized and marched to fight racial discrimination in housing and employment and to demand equal rights for all. Coming of age in Northern California in that era, I watched this struggle for progress unfold in real time and I heard it in the songs of artists like James Brown and Marvin Gaye James Brown sang, say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. Aretha Franklin and Otis Redding demanded respect, and Sam Cooke proclaimed, a change is going to come. Today, we stand on the shoulders of these pioneers and countless others who protested, organized, and sat in, who broke new ground in their fields of study, and who fought to make the world a better place. I think of the labor of these predecessors as our nation reaches new milestones. Last month, we celebrated the swearing in of our first female black and South Asian vice president, Kamala Harris. And voters elected the first black senator to ever represent the state of Georgia, Reverend Raphael Warnock. But recent events in Washington, D.C. have reminded us once again that many still view this hard-won progress, these steps toward a more inclusive and diverse country, as a threat to be met with violence. So this month, while we celebrate black achievement and excellence, we also must grapple with this reality and rededicate ourselves to the work that remains to be done. I encourage all members of the UC community to participate in Black History Month events and celebrations this month on our campuses and elsewhere, and to take this time to learn from the struggles and achievements of those who came before us. We must all stand firm in our commitment to root out inequality to engage in anti-racist action, and to center justice and inclusion in all that we do. To borrow the words of Ralph Bunch, we must continue the hard and necessary work of, quote, converting the American ideal of equality into reality, end quote. I'm grateful for your commitment to these ideals. Happy Black History Month and Fiat Looks.